Hey guys, Dwayne here. My friend Jay asked me to do a watch collection update video. So here we go. Last day of January 2021. I currently have seven watches. So I will go through them one by one and share a little information with you and uh, I'll share the prices in case you're thinking about getting something similar. <clears throat> okay, first we have USMC Marines watch. My brother gave me this for my birthday um, a couple of years ago. It is a nice big watch if you like a big watch um it's very comfortable it does feel really good wearing on the wrist uh, it's got a nice wide rubber strap cool usmc logo on the back yeah very nice watch <clears throat> Uh, I believe my brother bought it at Big Five Sporting Goods, and I think it was like fifty or sixty dollars. Very nice watch. Lots of complications. It, yeah, it's got a stopwatch and <laughs> a lot of stuff on it. <laughs> Next up, this is a Timex Easy Reader. I actually found this on a bike ride. It was laying in the middle of the bike path last summer. And I checked with uh, Craigslist, lost and found uh, for like three weeks. Every day I would check to see if anybody reported losing a watch because I wanted to give it back to the original owner. Uh, it never showed up, so it's mine. And I like it, it's, very, it's, it's small, it's simple, it's comfortable, and yeah, it's very, Easy to read. The Indiglo works. You can't really see it in this light, but yeah. Nice little watch. It's kind of kind of smallish, but easy to slip on, and you're good to go. Okay. Next up is a Casio uh, MTP V001. Okay, this came with a cheap leather band. I didn't really like that, so I replaced it with a cheap stretchy band. <laughs> it, it's another one of my just slip on and go watches. Okay. One thing I would change about this watch is the hands. The hands are very shiny chrome and in certain light, they just disappear. But when the light hits them just right, they're like, boom, right there. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I wish the hands were white. But that's the only thing I would change about this. Simple little watch. It was 20 bucks uh, on Amazon. This one, was, this one, they're about 40 bucks on Amazon. They have several different models of the Easy Reader. Okay, next up. I bought this one. Uh, this is my most expensive watch. It is a vintage Seiko SQ100. Black dial, rotating uh, red and blue bezel. They call that a Pepsi bezel. Pepsi colors, um, <clears throat> 100, 100 meter water resistance. This is a really nice watch. They don't make these anymore. Uh, there are currently two similar watches on eBay. Uh, one with a yellow face for 175 and one with a white face for $325. All right, I got this on eBay auction. Uh, there was a bidding war between me and another buyer. I finally got it for $210 in the last two seconds of the auction. Okay. 
So, yeah. Neat watch. They're hard to find. And they seem to hold their value. I don't know how much I could sell this one for, but I'm not interested in selling it. I love it. This, this is a Reginald... Um, cheap Chinese watch. They're about 40 bucks on Amazon, but really good quality. Um, yeah. If I were gonna get rid of a watch, I might get rid of this one. Um, just because it's an off brand, it's made in China, uh, but really, there's nothing wrong with it. It's. <laughs> I think it's just beautiful with the blue face and the blue bezel and the gold trim. The stem is gold. Around the edge of the bezel is gold. And there's a gold stripe on the center links on the band. Yeah, just, just a beautiful... I call this my Chinese Rolex. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah. I just, I like it. This was another gift from my brother. This is a Citizen Echo Drive. Um, model number H500-S026989. How's that for a model number? <clears throat> This actually came with a really cool green nylon strap, which looked cool, but it wasn't comfortable. So I replaced it with a metal bracelet, and it's just perfect. I just love it. Very, very nice watch. Last one, number seven, Casio G-Shock DW5600. This watch sells for about 40 bucks on eBay, a little more on Amazon. <clears throat> and I have customized it with a stainless steel metal bezel and bracelet. It's all metal. It makes it very heavy, um, which I like. I think it feels, feels, like, feels more like quality with all, with all the metal um, versus the standard G-Shock with the plastic bezel and the resin band okay um yeah i like it um the watch itself is about 40 bucks on ebay uh the the mod kit with the metal bezel and band is about 56 dollars on aliexpress and they do have other colors besides black they have silver gold uh, like a purple and blue. So for about a hundred bucks, you can have a metal G-Shock if you're into that. And if you if you want to do a little modding, very easy to do. It's hard to screw up. <laughs> and out of all these watches, I have to say, if I could only have one watch, if I could only keep one, it would be this one. It's got... All the information, uh, day, date, um, it's got a light, it's got a stopwatch, uh, which I use a lot, a countdown timer, alarm, yeah, and with the metal, it, it just makes my day, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so there you go, that's my watch collection update. Hope you enjoyed it, um, let me know if you have any questions, and have a great day. Peace out.